Hey, boys and girls. I had showed you earlier the cards about your feelings, your emotions. And I'm going to go over them, each one. And then I'm going to read your story. And in the story, uh, I want you to think about the feelings, the emotions that's going on in this story. And you decide, is these little people being nice? Are they being mean? How are they making this animal feel he is he happy is he sad is he excited and just think about it okay let's go for sad <clears throat> what if sometimes you be sad you can be sad when you don't get your way you can be sad if something happened to you or uh, you fall and get hurt or you can be sad when we get ready to go outside and someone beat you to the tricycle. That's sad. Embarrassed. When do you be embarrassed? When somebody might be picking at you. Or um, you have an accident. Or stuff like that. Jealous. When do you feel jealous? A lot of y'all feel jealous in the classroom when we have one student or two students that do what they're supposed to do and they get to do things that they want to do. Or if somebody know all their numbers or letters or can write them, you kind of get jealous because the people will say, oh, he can do this or he can do that. You kind of get jealous. But it's no need because you're going to do very good. Bored. When do you get bored? When it's something that is nothing you want to do. You just want to sit around. You don't want to play. You don't want to do nothing. I'm just bored. But we don't have boredness in our classroom. We keep something going all the time. Sorry. We have a lot of sorries in the classroom because the first thing you do is hit somebody. I'm sorry. Or you take something from somebody. I'm sorry. We have a lot of sorry. Oh, love. Oh, we have a lot of this. We have a lot of hugs, hugs, and hugs. And uh, we tell you how you look. And high fives. We get a lot of love in our classroom. We don't have much of this anger we don't have anger in our class when you get to this point you might have to go time out a little bit get yourself together and come back and when you come back you probably will be feeling this way hopeful hopeful that you don't get in trouble anymore but we don't have a lot of anger in our class hopeful we have a lot of this because when you first come in, you are hopeful that you will meet new friends. You get to do new stuff. Yep, you're very hopeful. And we also have a lot of this proud. Because we are proud of all our children in our class. No matter what you know and what you don't know. Or what you do. We're proud of you. Happy. We have a lot of this. Smiles. We have a lot of happy in our class. Yep. Because if you come in shy, you're going to leave happy. <laughs> and we have a lot of people coming in shy at the beginning because it's something new. And in time, you'll get together and you won't be shy no more. You'll talk and play with everybody and Tell Miss Terry and myself what you need or what you want to do. So, <clears throat> we have a lot of shock, but you leave excited. Yes, we have a lot of excited people in our classroom. Because when you learn something, you'll be very excited. Because you learn something new or what you're doing. Excited. Guilty. We have a little bit of this sometimes. 
that you do something and you really don't want to tell us that you did it. And you feel a little guilty about it or you hurt somebody's feelings and you really don't want to tell that you did something or you just don't feel good about it. But we don't have that much. And we have a lot of this surprise. We have a lot of surprise in the classroom. And we have a lot of this by the end of the day. Tired. We have a lot of tired cheering by the end of the day. So, we went over 13, what, feelings or emotions. Okay. So, I'm going to read you the story. Well, I have two stories to read to you. And then you can tell me about how did this little boy feel. And also, um... When you come in the classroom, some of your hair are going to be different. Uh, you're going to have different types of clothes on. And some of you might have different cultures. Some of you might be Native American. Some might be Chinese, uh, African American. We have a lot of different kids, diversity in our classroom. So, you don't pick at each other. You just learn from what they know. And this book is called Chocolate Me. And last week, Miss Terry talked about the color brown, different shades of brown. But this is about a little boy. He's an African-American little boy. And he kind of upset because people pick at him because he's dark-skinned. And he said, Chocolate Me. And the book is by Ty Deeks. And the illustration is by Sean Evans. And this is the front of the book, the spine, and the back. And let's get started. Sitting on the sitting on my stoop when I was five, not like Timmy or Johnny or even Mark, though I wanted a name like theirs. And look at the uh, where they live at. Do they live in the city or the country? They live in a city or the suburbs. Chocolate me. And look at chocolate me. He's dark skinned. He have what? Curly hair. He got an afro. When we play, they say, look where your skin begins. It's brown like dirt. Does it hurt to wash off? Chocolate me. Now, was that nice? No, that wasn't nice. They often stared at my hair. Why do you look scared? It's so puffy and big like a wig. Not straight. Don't you hate to comb it? And is Timmy... Is Timmy in... Um, Let's see, get the names right. It's Timmy. Mark and Johnny. Good friends. Are they being nice? No, nah, they're not being nice. Then he said, chocolate me. As they pointed at my nose, I froze. It's so big and wide. I tried to hide. Chocolate me. I squirm and I wiggle as they giggle at my teeth so white. You can be our flashlight at night. Just smile and we will be all right. Chocolate me. And see, he got pretty white teeth. Pretty white teeth. When I came in from outside, I cried. Why? I asked my mother, why can't I be like Timmy or Johnny or Mark with straight hair and a different nose? I suppose my teeth wouldn't seem so bright if my skin were a bit more light. Right? Chocolate me. And then my mom said, 
Wait one minute, my sweet. Can't you see? You have skin like vivid fudge frosting in a mix, mixed in a bowl. And you can lick the spoon. Cotton candy hair soft to touch of my fingertips are braised like rolls of corn with a twist. And your smile, she say, makes me so happy I could cry. No amount of money could buy how it makes me feel. For real. It's perfect. And what mama say? You are perfect. Look, she say, look in the mirror and love what you see. Chocolate me. Hmm. I started to think about my face, my skin, my nose, and my fro. Chocolate me. And what do you know? A long came Timmy, Johnny, and Mark, who suddenly didn't seem so smart. And I started to smile and smile and smile. I felt good. I could taste it. Why? Because I'm chocolate. Chocolate is sweet. Chocolate is smooth. Chocolate is beautiful and delicious. Chocolate is me. And look at Johnny Mark. Look at their faces. And Timmy. They got all what color on. Chocolate. Chocolate me. So, was Timmy, Johnny, and Mark, was they good friends? No, they wasn't. Because they made who? Chocolate me. Feel bad. Because he was what? Dark skinned. And he was different. So, you're going to have a lot of people come in our classroom that's different. But you don't pick at them because they are beautiful. Everybody is different, and everybody have something to bring to the table. So, no matter if you get puffy hair, straight hair, dark skin, light skin, you're beautiful. You are beautiful. Okay, the next story is Scary Cat. Scary Cat. And tell I want you to tell me about these emotions and stuff in here. They're feeling. How did they feel? How did they make this thing feel? This little cat. Once there was a lion who was just too scared to roar. When he tried, the monkeys howled and rolled to the floor. They are laughing they step to death. They think it's so funny because he cannot what, roar. The lion crook, he grunt, he made such squitching sounds. The parrot fell out of the tree and dived down on the ground. I never be the king of the jungle, said the lion, feeling very sad. Cheer up, said the meerkats. Meerkats. Things really aren't that bad. See? He yeah. <clears throat> He, he, he trying, trying very hard to what, roar. And right here, what is he doing? The monkeys is over there laughing. And it's the lion. How do the lion feel? What emotion, what feeling did he show? He is very what? Sad. He's very sad. Because they are what? They're picking. Look at. Let me skip the page. Look at your reflection, said the meerkat. You are handsome and you are proud. Don't be scared of what, don't be scared of who you are. You should celebrate it out loud. See, he tell me, look in the, look at your reflection. You are handsome. Okay, let's see what happened here. Dry your eyes and cheer up. There is no need for you to cry. 
we don't always get things right the first time we try. And that's right. Sometimes we have to do things over and over and over until we get it right. And that's called practice. So, lying, try it again. Oh, ah. He tried and he tried. The monkeys found it hilarious and laughed until they cried. They just is. They just is silly. They just pick, 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 pick. He never, he would never roar, they said. You are wasting your time, meerkat. Lion isn't king of the jungle. He's just a scary cat. And by them saying that, do it make the lion feel any better? No. And then that's in our classroom too. Because sometimes y'all get upset and start crying. And the first thing is, you a cry baby. You a cry baby. I'm not a cry baby. And then the first thing I say, are you a baby? No. Okay, you're not a cry baby. It's no use, said the lion, as he wiped away his tears. I pack my case and go. There's no place for me here. Please don't go, said the meerkat. There are more things we can try. The monkey, monkeys giggled rudely and said goodbye. And see, he upset now. So since he's not the what the king of the jungle, he's just going to leave. He's just going to give up. And because he's feeling what? He's feeling embarrassed. He's what? Sad. And he's getting kind of angry. Okay. Okay, let's see. And look at the monkeys over there. Bye. Bye-bye. <laughs> the jungle an animals wondered where their lion friend had gone. He left the jungle, said the monkeys, because he didn't belong. Someone has upset him, said the elephant. I want to find out who. He waved his trunk at the monkeys. I suspect it's you. You see? And his friends are asking, where is Lion? Where is Lion? And then the monkey's over here. He left because he didn't belong. Now they kind of would. They're getting kind of what? They sorry. They trying to get sorry. And they also is what? Guilty because they was doing what? Picking. It's mere cat fault, cried the monkeys. He drove lying away. Where well, mere cat asked the elephant. What have you got to say? Poor Meerkat felt quite silly as everyone crowded around. He sank back under the trees and crouched down on the ground. And who telling the tale now? Who is telling the tale? Was it me, Meerkat, or was it the monkey's fault he left? I wanted lying. To be happy, said Meerkat, to be the best that he could be. I didn't want him to pack up and go. Please don't peek at me. Now, see, Meerkat is upset now because they're trying to blame him for everything now. Ain't okay. Suddenly, there was a rustling in the, in the bush, a flash of a tail, then a paw. Lion leaped out of the bushes and gave a big, what? What do you think happened? Roar. Leave him alone, said Lion. And everyone stood and stared. You have found your roar, trumpet the elephant. Lion, you are not scared. Look at him. Roar. Leave him alone. Because who was the nicest to him? It was Meerkat, 
Meerkat, well, he what did? He tried to make him happy. He tried to make him proud of himself. He showed him a lot of what? Love. He tried to get him a lot of hope. Okay. Okay, let's see what happened. Everyone cheered for line. The monkeys joined in too. We are. The monkeys said we are. Let me find. We are sorry. They said to the line. That we are. We were so what? They were so mean to you. The animals had a party. The lion was much happier than before. Thank you, he said, Meerkat, for helping me find my roar. And so he was very what? He was very happy. He was proud that he found his what? His roar. He loved his friends now. And when he gave out the big roar, he was what? He was very what? Excited and surprised. Yep, he was excited and he was surprised. You see, they partying. He's happy. And that's what his best friend was what? Who? Meerkat. And that's like in the classroom. Y'all will find you a, a best friend in the class, somebody that you like being around all the time and want them to do stuff with you. So, with, and here it showed a lot of feelings and emotions. We showed love, that meerkat loved the lion. They was proud of him when he got his roar. He was happy of himself. He was proud of himself. But he was very what? Excited and surprised when he roared. Mm -hmm. But the monkeys made him feel how? The monkeys made him feel so what? Embarrassed because he couldn't roar. Made him feel sad. They even made him feel angry. And he got angry at who? He got angry with himself because he couldn't what? Roar. Did, did it show any guilt? Who showed guilt? The monkeys showed guilt. Then the monkeys was what? They were sorry for what? Picking. Okay. So, I hope you enjoyed the story. And I hope you uh, found out or uh, saw some of the feelings and stuff that was in the book the emotions that were I showed you in the book and like I said especially this one here chocolate me no matter what you look like uh, what you wear everybody is what perfect because everyone is different so hey you're beautiful and don't let nobody else tell you you're not. You are beautiful. No matter what. If you got curly hair, straight hair, dark skin, light skin. If you wear glasses, you don't wear glasses. If you're short, you're tall, you're pretty. And you're beautiful. And you're perfect the way you are. And I hope you enjoyed the story. And I'll talk to you later. Bye-bye.